Ready when you are. So we have our frontal squama. We have our, on the frontal bone, our supercilly arch on both sides. We have our glabella, or third eye. We have our superorbital margin right here and right here. Then we have our metopic, or frontal suture or seam, and that actually runs right here, we found out. Right there. And then we have our <laughs> orbital plate, which is in the back of on the eyes. We have our ethmoidal notch, which is in the inside right here, and this little notch on both sides. Then we have our sagittal sulcus, which is the groove um, right here, but it also runs right here on the frontal, thank you, the frontal bone. Then we move on to our parietal. Uh, we have on the parietal wall, grooves from menangeal arteries on both sides and some times you can see them down in the bottom of the skull. We have our uh, superior and inferior two lines which are How right you here, superior and inferior. We have our parietal uh, eminence. And, uh, oh, yeah, the two golf balls on the back of your skull. Then we move to occipital, or the back, which we have our occipital condyles, which are notches. Our notches, yeah, and then that's these. Nope, nope, inner. These. Inner near the spine, yes, sorry. Occipital condyles. Then we have external occipital protuberance, which is this at the bottom of the skull. A little notch there. No, clean little thing. bump. We have our superior, medial, and inferior neutral lines. Our superior runs through the notch, medial, and inferior. Then we have our basilar portion or process, which is like this. What? It's also on this side. Then we have our impression for transverse sinus, which is. Transverse means left, right, right here, and right here. Then we have our sagittal sulcus on the occipital bone. Then we have in our temporal portion, on our temporal bone, we have, it's kind of hard in this, we should have had that bone out. Uh, I guess I would say it's right here. Mm -hmm. Right here-ish. Um, we have our zygomatic process, yeah, well which is our cheekbone, zygomatic process, then we have our mandibular fossa, yeah. which is uh, underneath, fossa means right yes. here, and we have our mandibular tubercle, in case we happen to need to know that, which we don't. We have our temporal squama, which is this bone right here, the flat section, mm -hmm. and impression for sigmoid sinus, mm, this, right, on both sides, impression for our sigmoid sinus. And for the purposes of recording, it goes from the transverse sinus into the sigmoid, correct? Okay, but it kind of got a yes. Yes. yes, yes. You guys got the Then we have there? No. on our Petrous portion or the rock, which is this portion, the bigger portion on our inner skull. Still part of the temporal. Yes, por still part of temporal bone. Um, we have our inter internal auditory meatus, which is the ear hole. Tiny. Yeah, this one. Thank you. Tiny. And then we have our styloid process, which is sharp. Hard to tell the upside. Thank you. Styloid process on both. Then we have our on the mastoid portion. We have the mastoid process right here. We have our mastoid notch inside. We have mastoid air cells, which are actually if you cut these open, you'll see little air pockets. Then we go into the tympanic portion. We see our external auditory meatus. Ear hole, or ear hole on both sides. Then we go to the sphenoid. Oh, we don't have the sphenoid.